What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street, and welcome to today's video, which is about eight different things that you can do right now that are completely free, that are going to help you increase your energy levels. To all of the subs that are back here on the channel, I know I've been gone for a little while. I've been gone for about six weeks because I needed to recharge my batteries, find that creativity, find that energy. And that's why today's video is not a fashion video. The first true video of 2021 is about energy. And I think it's just going to be a really important thing throughout 2021. 2020 was a weird year. This year is probably going to be a little bit weird as well. This year, I want to focus a little bit more on lifestyle and all of the things that first embracing fashion has allowed me to do. Really quick backstory. I started to dress better and then my confidence grew significantly. I started feeling better and I started being a completely different person, truly myself. From that, I started many different practices to keep growing intellectually, spiritually, energetically in all these different ways that I've done for years. And I feel like my YouTube channel doesn't reflect that enough. So there's going to be a lot more self-development content on my channel this year. So let's start off with the eight things that you can do right now to increase your energy levels. Number one, meditation. Meditation has so, so, so many incredible benefits. And I'm not talking about the spiritual stuff right now. I'm talking about the actual scientific impact on your body. Let's start with two things that are created by your body when you meditate regularly. Number one, DHEA, also known as the longevity molecule. And that is basically responsible for a general sense of well-being, which if you feel great, you're going to do a lot of things. Fantastic. Second up, you increase your production of GH, which is the growth hormone, which is incredibly important to fight fatigue throughout the body and to increase motivation. So that's just off the bat, two things that you help your body produce more easily when you start meditating. A second big factor is obviously that it teaches you like a muscle in your brain to focus on the present moment, which allows you to be less stressed. Stress and anxiety and fear are usually just our mind chattering on about things that will maybe happen in the future that literally just drains your energy for no reason because the future is not here yet. You're here right now. And through meditation, you practice knowing that which allows you to decrease stress in your life. And that's another way that you can truly save energy. So not about increasing, but helping it not decrease. Meditation is also the perfect segue to point number two, which is sleeping. If you meditate before going to bed, you quiet your mind, you fall asleep much more easily and you sleep better generally because meditation also helps promote the natural production of melatonin, which I don't know if you guys know that, but a lot of people take that actively to fall asleep better and to sleep throughout the night better. But sleeping is incredibly important. If you're still, I was on this for the longest time, if you're still of the conviction that you need to work as late as you possibly can, wake up, not sleep and show in that way that you're a hustler, please stop. For one, you're probably not working as effectively as you would if you actually got a good night's sleep. Two, you're wearing your body down just because you can do it right now. Trust me, you will not be able to do it for decades and you want to find something that's sustainable to keep your energy and your, your effectiveness as high as possible, even into old age, right? If you disagree, leave a comment down below. But if you disagree, we're going to have a little conversation about that. So sleeping is really important, not only how long you sleep, but also the consistency with it. So going to bed the same time, waking up the same time and an incredibly useful tool when it comes to sleep is this thing on my wrist right here. This is called a whoop. I've talked about it on the channel before. I am an absolute fanatic. This brand is phenomenal and they have in this app a sleep coach. Basically it tracks your cardiovascular activity throughout the day. And by the end of the day, it tells you like, listen, you ex like you were really active. You need more rest or you had a chill day, you can sleep less, but it tells you when to go to bed and how long you should stay in bed, not only sleep, but stay in bed because this actually knows how long you're awake throughout the night. An incredible tool, honestly, if you guys wanna check it out just for that reason, I'll talk about it a bit more in just a second. Link is down below. You can try it out completely free for a month. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Point number three, get out there and get active. Working out or even just walking around the block if you get your activity in, you actually help your body produce endorphins that are going to make you feel good. To me, it used to be a very contradictory thing. Like I spent physical energy to get more energy, like spend energy to get energy didn't quite make sense. But the physical thing is the one thing and the mental clarity and the feeling of accomplishment that comes from it is a whole another level of energy that will carry you through the day. I tend to work out in the mornings just because I like starting my days off like that. I feel accomplished and I feel physically great as well. The more you train, the more you train your body to increase the capacity for physical energy in the first place. So please get out there and train because back to point number two, it also helps you sleep better if you truly 
exhausted yourself physically throughout the day. And once again, the whoop, a great, great tool for that. It helps you balance how well your body can take on the strain on any given day based on how well you slept. So this analyzes your body, tells you, hey, today you can go really hard when you work out, or today maybe take it easy, have a rest day, just go for a walk. Please try it out. Like, so many of my friends, uh, I just got Hilda one, my girlfriend, um, just because it took, like, Jesus needed one, you probably need one too. It's life-changing. Now these three things I've been doing for a long time. In the last six weeks, what I've truly embraced is breath work as point number four. I'm gonna say the name Wim Hof and either you know who he is and you know exactly what I'm about to say, or you don't know who he is and let's just refer to him as the Iceman then. Because this is a guy, I believe he's in his late 40s, mid 40s? Because this is a guy that runs marathons in shorts in freezing temperatures, that meditates in the snow and that injects himself with bacteria and fights it off actively with controlling his immune system all through breath work. So look him up if you don't know who he is. I have started intensely doing his breath work in the mornings as well as at night and the energy I get from it is ridiculous. There's an app called the Wim Hof Method, W-I-M-H-O-F Method. I'll link to that down below as well. It's a free app. Um, there's a paid structure to it but you don't need it like for the for the guided breathing you don't need it and i challenge you guys to do that on a daily basis and see what you feel if it makes any difference for you i think it's absolutely amazing and it's not mumbo jumbo he basically took it upon himself to take a lot of the concepts from yoga and meditation and to try and prove scientifically why they work so he's working with universities and this is not just oh try it there's actually science-based proof that this works point number five another page out of wim hoff's book taking a cold shower in the morning i used to obsess over the fact that i'd have to hop straight into the shower i like at least hopping in a warm shower or a hot shower first and that's exactly what he suggests in his app as well so it's the second thing i challenge you to to hop in the shower start off normal and then finish off with a cold shower and then increase the time of the cold shower day by day and see what that does to you. From a science standpoint, it will help you improve your vascularity, which means blood flows through your system a lot more easily, which carries all the nutrients, oxygen throughout your body. So it should physically make you feel better. But there's a lot of other benefits to taking a cold shower, including improving your mood, improving your immune system, having better, shinier hair, and lastly, even to lose weight. So challenge number two, daily cold shower. Let me know how you guys are doing down below in the comments. Point number six is another one for not decreasing your energy and that's drinking less alcohol. Alcohol will affect your body, even a glass of wine, not only for that night, the next morning, but for several days. It stays in your system and it draws energy. So especially after, you know, the holiday season, hopefully some of you tried the whole dry January thing. I did not do the dry January thing, but I'm currently not drinking because I want to give my body the chance to truly heal and recover and then I want to be a lot smarter about my choices of alcohol consumption so knowing that if you go out on a Friday and you drink or even just have a couple glasses of wine over the weekend it's going to likely affect the entire week ahead and you have to ask yourself what do I want to accomplish and what's important in this life and is alcohol important enough for me to choose to have a drink or maybe should I just skip it have a juice which is also something that I feel like is rather something you treat yourself to and then feel better throughout the week. So same thing, if you want to give it a try just to see how you feel, I think that's, uh, I think it's a good starting point. The Whoop is yet again another great tool to assess whether it actually affects you, your body, like in a very bad way. Because at the end of the month you get a report and if you choose to have the question asked in the morning whether you drink alcohol um, or not, it will show you how that affected your recovery rate. So yet again, a great tool. Give it a shot, let me know. Point number seven is turn off your notifications on the phone. Think about that one for a second, and I hope you understand why I say this. I turned off my notifications on my phone about a year and a half ago. Huge game changer. Especially after seeing The Social Dilemma, the, uh, the documentary about social media, I understood why even more so it's very, very important that you guys turn off your notifications. If you haven't seen The Social Dilemma, check it out. I was hesitant to watch it because I thought I was gonna be the bad guy in it. Uh, turns out there's much worse guys than me as an influencer content creator to, you know, give you guys content on social media. It's a really important documentary, so I suggest you guys watch it. But I only have calls on, my messages, and maybe some calendar notifications. 
because everything else will literally draw your attention and your energy all day long. Ever since I did that, I stopped being on Instagram as much, I stopped being on email constantly, and it's just incredible to see how much more time and energy you have if you don't do that. At one point I even had my messages off because the people that I needed to get in touch with me knew that if it's urgent, they should call me. So, something else to consider. Last but not least, drink water. Simple as that. Technically not entirely free, depending on where you live and where you get your water, but it is one of the simplest, most effective, best things that we can do for our bodies, including getting the energy levels up. So that's point number eight. And with that, we wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I truly, 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 I'm not, not just saying that. I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you are going to try some of these things out. I'm gonna repeat one more time now that it's at the end and I know the real people that watch till here are going to listen to the last bit as well. Fashion to me was all about confidence. It's about self-improvement. It's about being who you are, like the best version of yourself. But it doesn't start and end with fashion. It's like we're, we're more than just what we wear. For me, this outside in approach worked really well. And I hope for you guys, I'm assuming for you guys too, for everybody that's interested in fashion. But it's important to know that there's more that you can do for yourself, for how you feel on a daily basis. And that's what I want to explore on this channel a lot more this year. So thank you guys truly for watching until here. Uh, leave comments down below uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, any other things that you guys are doing to increase your energy levels. I'd love to hear about it and give them a try as well. Everything I mentioned is down below in the description, so I hope you guys have fun exploring that, and I'll see you very soon with the next video, which I promise is going to be fashion-related. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye, y'all.